Hi PWU soldiers, I hope your bar preparation is going on good which is going to come in the April 1st week. Here I have chosen one of the important questions from the microprocessor subject which can be expected in our bark. Of course in the gate we don't have the microprocessor subject for both ECE and EE people but it is there for instrumentation people. But when it comes to the bark series most of all the industrial controllers today we are using our microprocessor based and microcontroller based. So definitely there is an expected question from the microprocessor. How to solve this question? If you see a set of instructions are given from this. So this is a 8085 assembly language program. So move immediate A, B5, move immediate B, 0E, XR immediate 69H, add B and immediate 9BH, CPI 9F, STA 3010HLT. Eight instructions are given. After the execution of line 7 of the program, the status of the carry and zero flags will be dashed. Line 7 he is asking. After the execution of line 7 he is asking. So how to solve this? So let us go step by step. So first instruction is move immediate B5. That means the accumulator step 1. Let us take the step 1. So what is the step 1? A accumulator is going to become what? Accumulator is going to become B5. So it is going to become B5. Next, step 2, move immediate B, 0, E. B is equal to, so this one is equal to 0, E. Next, step 3, XR immediate 69. Step 3, XR immediate means one of the operand here if you check. When, when this is what immediate addressing mode, in immediate addressing mode, one of the operand is fixed that is accumulator. So, A will be XR with 69. So, A XR, A XR with B, A XR with B. Why? Because one of the operand is already fixed. So, A is B5. So, how to do this? So A is equal to B5, B5 means it is 1011, 5 means 0101, so B is 0E, zero e. this is 0, 0, 0, A10, B11, C12, D13, E14, so that means 1110, one, one, this is, must be very clear about this. Be careful in solving this question. Okay. So when you do the XR operation, I think all of you know it. XR operation, how it works. Any one of the op, any one of the bits must be 1. If both the ones are same, it will be 0. Okay. So 1 XR with 0. One second, please check the A value and the B value. There is a possibility of getting confusion. This is 0, A10, B11, C12, D13, E14. Yes. So any one of them must be 1. So here comes 1. This is also 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, sorry, 0, 1 means it is going to become 1, 1 XR with 0, 1, 1 XR with 0, 1, 1, 0 XR with 0, 0, 1 XR with 0, 0, okay. okay. Any one with XR with other, both operands, suppose both the bits are 0, the result will be 0. If any one of them is equal to 1, then the result is 1. Once you get the step 3, so this is going to be the accumulator, remember this, this is going to be the accumulator. Next, step 4, he has given add B. What is the step 4? Step 4 is A plus B. That means you have to take the B value. Okay. Take the B value. What is the B value? 0 E again. B does not change. Na? So B will be the same. So take 0. Zero, zero, zero. E means one, 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 zero. So now, if you do perform the XR operation, sorry, it's not XR operation; it's add operation. So when you perform the addition here, what is going to happen? Step four is add B. Okay. 
So when you perform the addition, what is going to happen? Please check. This is 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1, 1 comes here, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, this is 1, this is 1. So, 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, this is going to be the A value. This is going to be the A value. So, that is 9. What is the step 5? If you see the step 5, step 5 is and immediate with 9B. So, step 5. Result of A must be and with what? 9B. We add with 9B. Okay. Let me take one more slide. Yeah. So, if you take and with 9B, so 9 means what? That is 9B. We take 1, 0, 0, 1. B means 1, 0, double 1. Okay. So, if you take this and operation, what is the AND operation now? Any one of both bits must be 1, then the result is 1. So, here I am taking 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1. So, this is our result. So, what we are getting the result as 89. So, the accumulator we got here is 89. What is the value? So, this is our 89. Step 5 is over. Let us move for the step 6. What is the step 6? If you see the step 6, CPI 9F, that means 89 must be compared with a compare CPI. A and A compare. Compare a with 9f. So, obviously, what is the compare instruction? Compare instruction, what it will do? Compare instruction is just like subtraction instruction, but it won't affect the register content, only it will affect the content of the flags. Okay. So, now a will be compared with 9f. So, when a is compared with 9f, that means what is the a value? The value of a is 89. So, 89 minus 9f. Obviously, 89 is lesser than 9f. 89, 90, 90, 90, 89 is less than 9f. So, definitely when you are removing, when you are subtracting one small number from a big number, definitely you have borrow flag is going to set. So, carry flag is going to set here and the re, re, zero flag is equal to not set. Zero flag is equal to zero. Why? Because he is asking about the flags. Next. Step 7, step 7, 3010, store accumulator. Of course, step 7 is not asked, but let me write here. Step 7, store accumulator to 3010H. What is the meaning of it? The contents of the accumulator are transferred to 3010 memory location. That means, if you take this 3010, so now if I am taking this as a 3010 memory location, into this 3010 memory location, the content accumulator is going to be transferred. So, what is accumulator content? Accumulator content is not going to be changed. So, accumulator content is not going to be changed, my dear. Accumulator content will be as it is. Why? Because when you do compare instruction, what is the purpose of compare instruction? Compare instruction is similar to, compare instruction is similar to subtraction instruction, but it is not going to affect the flags. Sorry, it is not going to affect the registers, it is going to affect the flags. Please make a note of this. So, note. Compare instruction. Is similar to. Subtraction. But it F does not affect the contents of the register. It 
it affects it affects only it affects only the flags okay so definitely which flags are going to be set now in this particular operation borrow is generated that's why carry flag result is not zero zero flag so what is the question asked if you see the question if you see the question what is the question asked in the question after the execution line of seven so after the execution of seven line so seventh line is over the status of carry flag and zero flag so carry flag is equal to one zero flag is equal to zero zero flag is not set so option c is the right answer this is the beauty of these particular questions my dear so in these questions aapko definitely you should have a clarity at each every step if you commit any mistake at any moment that definitely that affects your answer so and in the examination bark the time allotted is very very less but the thing is for each question you are having two marks so 300 marks are there 100 questions sorry 200 marks are there for 100 questions so please go through this particular thing each question is valid each question is important and while you are solving the each particular instruction if you commit anywhere some small mistake and that is going to affect the entire so be have patience and try to do well okay so in coming chapters also we'll discuss some more important model questions from the microprocessors which are expected mostly expected in our bark paper i wish you all the best for up your coming examination thank you